Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another review and today I'm going to be taking a look at some more 30 minute missions kits. And this time around it's the wannabe Zakus. Of course, if you didn't see the original video, you can check that out. I'll throw a card right up there in the corner. That of course was the 30 minute mission Alto. This time around, it's the Porta Nova. And of course, just like the last time, I won't be just looking at one of them. I'll be looking at one, two, three of them, as well as the four optional armor sets and the weapon kit. But anyway, as always, this video right here would not be possible without those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want some of your own, there is a link down there in the description. Now let's get to it. So first off, that right there is a quick look at everything that comes in one of these boxes. So it is a little bit on the basic side, just once again, like we saw with the Portanova. That's a long range weapon, a close range weapon, the Mecha and the little Roy Roy. So speaking of the box, once again, that is also quite basic, all kind of monochromatic in green. There is the dark gray one and there is the red one. So first it's like these do look like Zaku's. This looks like it might be a Char style one. This one looks like it might be a standard Zaku style one, but the color's not what I expected. On the side of the box there, you can see this is a simple build. So just two runners for the bot itself. There's another one for the weapons. In case you don't know, you will need the nippers, don't need glue. And there's a whole bunch of information about itself. So we got a lot of nice articulation. I can tell you that is true. We got the Roy Roy, the weapons. The Roy Roy can be used as a head. And of course, these are easy to build. So that means you can build yourself a little army. Flipping around to the other side. And this basically gives you the gist that you can take all these kits and put them together in whatever way you want. Also, once again, I did forget the price of this, so you can see that right up there right now. And these are relatively inexpensive. Anyway, that is what it looks like out of the box and put together. I'll do a quick spin of this, and this is the standard version in green. Of course, I do have two other versions here. I'll show them in a minute. But like I was mentioning, I expected this to be Zaku green, but it isn't. It's definitely more of a pea green or a pea soup green than Zaku green right here. But all in all, it still does look pretty damn cool. So before I actually take a look at the details, the aesthetics, whatnot about this kit right here, let's find out exactly how long it will take to build one of these guys. 30 minutes? Maybe. Let's start a timer and find out. Come on, I'm gonna open up, open up. Uh, da, da, screw it. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. And of course, God hand time. Okay, snip, snip, leg, leg, come on, come on, go, 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 get up, ooh, got all the leg parts, come on, go, go, uh, 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 okay, 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 this is, okay, oh shit, yup, yeah, 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 so one, two, joint, bottom of leg, oh no, I forgot a joint, come on, crotch, 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 get up, get, okay, other side, come on, get, get, get on there, okay, and, crotch complete, gotta jump out the body, the body, gotta jump out the body, come on, Cut, cut, what? Come on, come on. Down to the body. Body, where's the neck? Where's the neck? Neck, neck, neck. Come on. Body it on. Come on, the arms is two of these. Two, one. Uh, come on, come on. Oh no, I'm falling behind. I did the alto in 25 minutes. Oh, huh. And. Arm done. Next. Man, there is nothing like the feeling of taking the last piece off a runner. Goodbye. Uh, shoulder the first complete. Shoulder the second complete. Okay, onto the head. Only four pieces. Onto the final assembly. Where's the, where's the crotch? There we go, leg, leg, torso, head, right arm, left arm, shoulder, shoulder, come on, get on it, get on, bot finished, come on, Roy Roy, come on, get, go, Roy Roy, come on, weapon, come on, come on, come on, come on, weapon, second weapon, backpack, and complete, so that took me 27 minutes for two seconds and 20 of those smaller than seconds things, milliseconds, so yeah, that's about two minutes slower than the Alto, and of course that is just snipping it out with no cleanup. One awesome thing about these kits is once you've built one, they're laid out so well on the runners that you can actually just use this little set of instructions right here and nothing else to build them. So that is absolutely awesome. So if you want to build an army, this is perfect. I'd love to see this adapted into some grunt gumpla in future. So that right there is all three of them, what they will look like once complete. So let's take a look at the green one first because I find the details pop the most in this guy. At first these do look deceptively simple. Well I guess they are simple technically, but the detailing on the surface of these is very very nice. The plastic is definitely premium, especially on this guy right here. When you take the other two I find that the details don't pop quite as much. This red is a bit overkill, it's giving me some bionicle vibes right there. That red on purple on dark maroon is a bit... Extra. But this one right here, I really dig. This one's pretty cool too, but of course, it's a darker kit, so the details don't pop as much. And one extra thing that doesn't, and one extra thing that does give these that 
kind of Zaku vibe is the Monowai, but if you want that real, real Zaku feel, you're gonna need this guy right here with this guy's eye, because this is the one that has the pink eye. Which does look a bit lost in there because it is so monochromatic. But of course, all these parts are mix and match, so you can use anything with anything, and probably also combine them with these. So anyway, let's take a quick spin of each one. First up is my favorite, which is the green one. The details pop quite well in this. There is multiple textures in the plastic. We've got some semi-gloss and gloss on here. This does have a real Zaku vibe. There is absolutely no denying that. And all in all, I do think this guy is pretty cool. I don't like the design as much as I do like the Alto, but I've kind of always been like that when it comes to Gonpla related things. I've always kind of liked the Fetty style things more so than the Xeon type. Kind of, not really. Depends on the day of the week. Next one. Next up then is the red, which would be that Char style one. The clear part there in the head, once again, is kind of hard to see. I'm not sure how I feel about purple on red. It's a bit of an odd combination. Does make it look very toyish. The red is very glossy. The purple, not so much. And the maroon is quite glossy too. Once again, the dark maroon there doesn't pop off those details quite as much as, say, the red, or definitely not as much as the purple on there. And the last one here looks like a Night Ops guy in that dark, Dark grey on darker grey on black. This one definitely looks cool. The blue clear part in the head there, once again, doesn't pop so much. Pops a bit better than the pink on the red, but once again, swapping them back and forth throughout the guys will give completely different effects, and I will do that later on. So now moving on to the accessories, and here is what a Portanova comes with, and of course, that is some kind of rifle, a close combat weapon, as well as that Roy Roy. All of these guys' weapons are exactly the same color, the only thing that is different is the Roy Roy. The green there comes with a dark green, the red guy comes with a dark red, and the dark grey guy comes with a black. First up, a look at the rifle, this is quite the nice design, there it is from the front, so it's got two little... I assume sight sections either side. It's got a bunch of hard points along the sides. Of course, that's for using it with whatever you want, really. But there are some accessory kits that we'll be looking at soon, but that's pretty cool. Of course, that can be held in the hand like that. Or it can be stored around here in the backpack, which is pretty cool. It just slots in there, and that looks pretty rad. That right there is the close combat weapon. Once again, this is just a glorified handle for using with the accessory kits. It does have a bit of a... Uh blender looking thing there for some punchy punchy once again that slides into the hand and just like with the alto this is a round peg in a square hole so this doesn't really stay where you want it to they should have made that square not round but i'm assuming they wanted to make this also compatible with those particular pegs for customization and whatnot so it does fit into the holes and that's probably why it's round Last up then is the Roy Roy looking like some kind of mobile worker from Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Once again, this is just like a little turret. I assume that thing is meant to be a little bit of a gun, but it's also a 3mm peg. But unlike the Alto, which does have this little butthole for putting its Roy Roy into, this one doesn't actually have one of those, so you could essentially put it anywhere, but there's nowhere really centered unless you pop off that backpack there. Once again, this does have that new standard Gunpla backpack, so you can use that just like with the Alto with any of your more modern Gunpla accessories, backpacks like the Destiny Gundam, etc. But there is another hole on top there, so I suppose you could stick your Roy Roy in there like so. And I did totally forget to mention it in the last video, but if you pop off this guy's head, pop off the Roy Roy's legs, you can actually use the Roy Roy as this alternate head, so that's pretty cool. I also just realized that the one I just speed built there has its backpack on upside down. It's meant to be that way around. Anyway, now onto some accessory kits. So what is available at the moment is this. That is the option weapon one for Portanova. So this is for using with the weapons, like those glorified handles I mentioned already, and for extending that rifle. As well as that, we've got some optional armor sets, and we're gonna go with these first. So there are two types of optional armor. This is optional armor for special squad, that chest and shoulders gives me a real Gundam Vidar vibe right there. This does come in two colors, that's Gundam Vidar blue as well as a gray. This is what the runner looks like inside of that little packet, so it's all in one color, all on one runner. Next up then we've got the close fighting option armor. This color and this style right here definitely gives me a bit of uh, the color and style of the head here. Really kind of reminds me of the Masarao from Gundam 00 a little bit without the bunny ears. And that comes in two colors, that's that darkish maroon, as well as this kind of beige or bone white. Let's check them out. That right there is what it looks like on the runner. So once again, here we are with four different piles of armor and one, 
two, three bots to try them on. So what I'm thinking right here is the maroon is the color of the maroon on the red one. So we're going to go with that. The blue gives me Vidar vibes. So I'm going to go with the dark guy with the blue to kind of go for a Gundam Vidar feel. The grey ones here are the same colour as the weapons, more or less, so those are a little bit dull, so we're gonna go with those kind of beigey or bleached bone coloured ones on the green guy. Now here we go. So just like we saw before with the Alto, you do have to remove some parts in which to attach these. So that is the chest. These are simple enough to remove the front of the face, like that. Actually, let's take this opportunity to give him pink eye. So out with the green eye and in with the pink one for that Zaku feel. There we go. Now that is more like it. I'm actually going to leave this in from here on out and just give this guy the green one. That little bit of contrast definitely makes it stand out a lot more in there. But anywho, you guys out of the way. And as, and as I was saying, you do have to remove parts. That's the chest, front of the head, which I put back on by accident. And the full shoulders this time, not just parts of the shoulders. That does make it easier. And then the parts that we get are the face armor section, long and cool. The chest armor section, definitely a lot more armored than what we were looking at before. We have a pair of shoulders, they just clip on like that and like that. And lastly, then we have a shield. This has two different attachment points. I just stuck them both on here not to lose them. So that is just a standard three millimeter to three millimeter peg. And this one, which is a little bit staggered, so it attaches in there and then attaches up there so you can spin that around to have it at different lengths. This does look really cool, like it can grab onto things, but no moving parts here. Anyway, pop that on here onto the back of the arm. And finally, there is a spin of the green Portanova with that beige close combat armor. I also gave it that fist punch punch fist weapon just to round out that close combat aesthetic. All in all, this looks pretty cool. This armor is the same beige color as we saw on this alto, so that does mean you can really see the mix and match aspects coming in. But yeah, all in all, pretty rad. Next up then, we're gonna Gundam Vidarinate this guy right here. So off with the chest, off with the face, shoulder and shoulder, and then on with the new chest. Once again, big and bulky. The face, which looks somewhat like a scuba mask, and then the shoulder and the shoulder. Lastly, once again, we do have the shield right here, two different options. I'm gonna go with the staggered one once again and pop that on to the back of the arm. I said pop that on to the back of the arm, like so. So there is that armor on there. Once again, the colors don't really match all that great. Maybe the gray would have looked better on this guy right here. And the shield definitely isn't as awesome looking as the one we saw with the other armor set. The head there gives a bit of a rebreather or scuba kind of vibe, which doesn't really make much sense when it comes to a giant mecha. But I do love the shoulders and the chest there. It's definitely got some Gundam v esque vibes. And that's pretty damn awesome. And lastly, there is a kit with some of the armor attached that actually matches the colors on the kit. But I will mention that the texture is slightly different. The dark maroons on this kit right here are in a semi-gloss, whereas on the armor parts, they're almost in a semi-matte, so you can kind of tell them apart ever so slightly. But all in all, I like this. I like the way it matches. This is probably my favorite of the bunch right here. So last on the list in here, of course, is the option weapons and in the box. We've just got a couple of runners. Just like the last time, this half of runner C is exactly what you get inside the standard Portanova kit. And just this segment down here and this runner are brand new and exclusive for now to this kit, the weapon kit. So that right there is everything once you put it together. That's the knuckles and the rifle from the standard kits. We've got a spear, a machete and an axe, as well as two different extra handles and two different variant barrels for using with the rifle as well as these ammo sections. So let's check them all out. So first up then is the spear. That is exactly what it looks like. And of course this can be used with all of the handles. So that's all it looked like there with the knuckle section. So that does look like a kind of hilt with a knuckle guard attached to the spear. Right there is a spear with the extended handle. This is quite long. These little nub sections here can be used with that little guard section. And speaking of this little section, if you pop the knuckle part off, then attach that into this, which is the last little handle section, and we're still looking at the spear. This is what we get, and just like before, and you can tell from the ball joint, that is for doing this. So you pop off the hand, pop the ball joint in there, and voila, it's got a spear hand. Seriously, a spear 
for a hand. Of course, this can be used with the other weapons, which of course is the machete like you can see right here, as well as the axe, which seems to have a bit of a rocket bit on the back. Definitely an Iron-Blooded Orphans vibe right here. Of course, all the other variants work as well. For example, the axe can be used with the standard handle like this, Chop chop. The extendo handle for this tiny little halberd. The machete in the standard handle. Has a 3mm hole here. And finally a good old fashioned knife on a stick. I guess that makes it a spear. Kind of. Also I just thought of something. I'm pretty sure we can probably use the long handle on here. Yes we can. And the spear. Whoa. For this super long spear arm. Pretty awesome. Moving now onto the rifle, the standard rifle is the same as what we saw before, but pulling off that front barrel and this little cylinder section here on the side, we can then attach a new barrel like so, as well as this little ammo segment here. For what looks like a kind of beam long range weapon, that's pretty cool. If that's not cool enough, pop that back off, pop off this. We then have this bigger ammo segment that attaches on below like this. Of course you could use this with the standard barrel, for a variant like that, but what this one is for using with is this, a Gatling barrel. So that is pretty damn cool. So finally, there is all three versions of the rifle side by side. Of course, you can use all these extension pieces with the standard rifles that come in the standard kits. And right there is three examples of the weapon side by side. That's the long handle with the spear, the regular knuckle weapon with the knife, and of course, the axe hand. So that is it for the review and once again I absolutely love these. They're so simple to build, they're awesome, the articulation is great, the accessories out of the box are okay but the expansions are really really fun. And honestly if I was to give some recommendations I would recommend go for the green Zaku colored one and grab the weapon expansion. Those are my two favorite things in here. And I do feel that maroon armor does go with the red version quite well. But all in all, these are just as awesome as the Alta we saw before, but with a bit of a Zaku or Zeon-ish, ish flair. But anyways, always, if you do want one of your own, there is a link down there in the description. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Leave a like, it does help out the channel. And of course, I'll see you next time. Also, at this point, I will mention again, if you do want to help out the channel, there is a Patreon, as well as channel memberships right now. Thank you to everyone who is helping out so far. The Patreon comes with a Discord, come and chat, and the memberships come with a bunch of different things, mainly badges and emojis. And I did add some different tiers, which include being added to the end of the videos, like right now, as well as shoutouts. So, if you want to help out, all those links in the description.